can't be hungry, right? You're getting farther now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know about my country? But also for the good weather. How oh, good? <laughs> Potato again. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hello! My name is Gagas and I'm from Indonesia. I don't think I have that much confidence because I haven't been to Europe. I know just a little bit about the countries there. Um, well, I have a lot of European friends, but I'm not really familiar with the country. So, I actually saw the list of the country before coming here, but then let's see. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask them more about the specialties of their country and then I'm gonna look at their appearance and how they communicate. Um, yeah, that's my strategy for now and I hope it works. Maybe the look, I need to see the look first and then maybe differentiate from their accent. Also from their name I guess, because I think some of the specific country from Europe has unique names I guess. Hello! Hi. <laughs> okay, so would you mind introduce yourself a little bit? So, my name is Ely. It's shortened for something else that I won't tell you. <laughs> okay. I'm excited about what you think where I'm from. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell me more about like what's famous in your country? Uh, we are famous for yogurt and rose oil. I would like to guess you are Greek. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, That's that, that was actually my strategy. <laughs> but it's not Greek. Is your country like in the middle part of the Europe? No, Eastern Europe. Oh, let me guess by the color of the flag. How many colors? <laughs> Three. Okay. White, green, red. I think you made it harder for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should have asked. Oh. <laughs> Okay, can you uh, mention one tourist spot in your country? Real mountain. Okay, I'm gonna mention two. Mm -hmm. One is we have seven lakes in the mountains, okay. and each one has like its own name, but it's very picturesque. Mm -hmm. And then we have seaside, Black Sea. <laughs> Black Sea. Is it a small country? Um, the area is actually the same as Korea, mm -hmm. but our population is not that big. It's like about six million people. Seven? I have no clue. I'm just gonna try. You're very close. I'm very close. Next to Greece is... It can't be Hungary, right? <laughs> You're getting farther now. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one hint. There is a brand in Korea uh -huh. with our name in it. Brand. Uh, like brand uh, of yogurt. Which is not Greece. Denmark. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I remember, wait. Your country start with B, right? Yes. Bel... Not Belgium. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bulgaria? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. I know it. <laughs> I'm getting angry. Wow, you're great at geography. <laughs> I'm from Bulgaria. <gasps> okay. You do look like Bulgaria, like the hair color. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you more about Bulgaria later. Good luck. Thank you. Very tough for the first one already. <laughs> Hello! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And would you mind introducing yourself? So I'm Zuja. Mm -hmm. I'm 21 years old and I've been living in Korea for almost two years. A lot of Z. Yeah, oh. true. <laughs> so I can tell you that if you knew where I am from, mm -hmm. usually Asian people ask me if it's cold there. So the northern part? But I'm just gonna tell you that it's not true. Russia? No. But getting closer. <laughs> What's the northern part? Oh my god, okay. It's not northern part. It's not northern no. part? Okay. Okay, it's Eastern Europe. What is the famous food in your country? Food? Yes. It can give you actually a really big hint. Uh -huh. So it's pierogi. Okay. I did a research. You did? That. Okay. I did a research. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay that's good, that's good. <laughs> Do you also use English in your country? No, we have our own language. It has two colors on the flag. Two colors. Poland. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Same color with my country. Right. Red and red. Yeah, just okay. Okay. Poland. <laughs> you are yeah. you're very good. Yeah. No, I, I it's because I search for it, so but I don't really much. Man. Can you can you tell more about your country? <laughs> okay, so like we have mountains and sea. Mm -hmm. Um so we have a lot of like various food. Mm -hmm. And like in Korea it's spicy more and in Poland it's more salty I would say. 
Yeah, do we, we speak Polish. <laughs> Ooh, really? But do I look Polish for you? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, very fair and then the hair color. Oh, really? Yeah. Because we guessed countries before and they were saying Italian too. Ah. Yeah. I think you are more Polish than Italian for me. <laughs> I'm happy you guessed and did the research. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Eleonora. I live in Korea since 2022. Your country is has the R yeah. pronunciation. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> R. Um, what do you want to <laughs> know about my country? I think it's always about like the language, the food, the culture that can reflect your country. What is your country people known for? Like the characteristic? If I tell you, you will guess like right away. <laughs> like we're famous for food. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? I like yogurt. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. No. Is your country has beach? Yeah. Oh, Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese, mm -hmm. spaghetti, pasta, yeah. and you speak like this. Mm -hmm. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have Italian friends, so that oh, helps. Really? Yes. I'm Italian. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised by myself. <laughs> okay, hi. hi. My name is Elle. Can you spell it? E L L E, like a magazine. <laughs> oh, okay. What language do you speak in your country? Well, we second language will be English. English. Is your country more northern or like? Yeah. Northern. What's famous in your country, like? Tulips. Oh. Well, I can help you with that. Um, there is a very famous character. Who me? <laughs> There's a very famous character. Okay. Character, it's a rabbit and it's really famous in Korea as well. Mithi? Yes. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I did my research. <laughs> <laughs> Mithi is not Swedish. Mithi is not Germany. Where does Mithi come from? Not Finland, not Norway. Do you mind giving a hint of what your country is <laughs> If I'll tell you how it starts, then you will guess it right away. But I can say also it's really windy where I'm from. It's really windy. Yes. You do look like a um, Northern European with like, yeah. like hair. You're close. You yeah. almost got it. You can see Northern light there? No. No Northern no. light? In particular, tulips. That's a big one. The flower carpet. It doesn't come to my mind. <laughs> I think you know, but you just forgot yeah. the name. Sidula. <laughs> no, I'm not from Switzerland. Netherlands? Yeah. Oh my god. Good job. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm from Netherlands. Netherlands. I was going to. Oh. Yeah, you were so close. Yeah, I didn't know like Netherlands is that north. It's getting harder. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Jenny. So, uh, how would you describe your country? My country is, I think, pretty well known, but the weather's not very good. It's humid? No, it's not humid at all. It's cold mm -hmm. and wet and windy. Is your country famous for fish and cheap? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do you use English your country? Yeah, we do. Like as your first language? Yeah. United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I think I sort of get it yeah. because of the weather, the accent and the guess from my, about the food as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing she's a British. Oh. <laughs> Easy, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> it's so tough. Never been to European countries. Hello. Hi. <laughs> come closer, come closer. Uh, my name is Fiora and I'm here since December. So I'm doing straightforward, like asking about your country. What kind of currency that you use there? Good question. <laughs> Euros. Euros. What's flower in your language? Blümchen. Oh, I've never heard that before. Okay. Okay, uh, we are famous for skiing and skiing. classic music. From Switzerland. Oh, I mean, better, but no. Russia. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ski, is it on the northern part? Switzerland has skiing, yeah. but not only Switzerland. Skiing. I'm going to make my first guess. Okay. Switzerland. Okay, good guess, good guess. But no. <laughs> no. 
Um, so I'm guessing it's a northern country as well. Are you Irish? Irish? <laughs> okay, no. No. <laughs> Is it well known internationally, your country? Mm, yeah, no. It depends. Okay, I think it's a giveaway, but uh, no. Okay, um, uh, Palachinka. I've never heard about that. Yeah, a lot of people confuse it because it's similar to another country's name. It's really oh. similar. Austria. Yes, <laughs> that was a giveaway. I did it. <laughs> Okay, I mean, not bad, yeah. Uh -huh. We speak the same language. Um, Austria. <laughs> it was in my mind, just like Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> so close. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So not it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. <laughs> Austria, yes, I got it now. <laughs> okay, hi. hi. <laughs> so, um, would you mind introduce yourself in your country's language? Moi, Maalada, ja mä oon kotoisin joen suusta. Okay, a little bit hard. <laughs> uh, is English common in your country? No. Okay. Uh, we do learn it in um, in school, mm -hmm. and actually, to be honest, most of people speak English, mm -hmm. but it's not a country's yeah. language. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I am far away from that. I wanted to guess you were from France. But the language doesn't feel like good. The language is different. <laughs> yes. What sport is that popular in your country? What kind of sport? Ice hockey. What is the most famous thing in your country? Sauna. Sauna. <laughs> no, it's easy. Easy. <laughs> I didn't know there's... Sauna, igloo hotels. You can see Aurora there. Yes, we can see Aurora there. We have lots of snow. Santa Claus. Oh. Finland. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have said the Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. That's easy. <laughs> Finland. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> that, that was easy. It's a bit hard. <laughs> oh, hard. Yeah. Ah, thank you. I'm happy that I guessed correctly. Oh, yes. <laughs> See you later. Hello. Hi. You're doing well. I'm not gonna <laughs> give you much clues. What language do you speak? In okay. my country, we speak five main languages. Not everyone speaks all of them, but we speak five languages. Is English common in your country? Is it not? It's not. What is your country famous for? It doesn't have to be food, it can be other products, you know. I think my country is pretty famous for the food, actually, but also for the good weather. How good? <laughs> <laughs> Very warm weather. Warm? I think it's also famous for party. Is it famous for music as well? Nowadays, I feel like, yeah, it's like getting popular. Are you French? I'm definitely not French. Not French. <laughs> Bigger than France. The colonization. Mm -hmm. That's a big hint. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys been to Malaysia, your country? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think no. No? But close. Close. Then it's definitely not Portuguese, definitely not Netherlands, definitely not Britain, uh, not, not England. You're getting far. I'm getting far? Yeah. Think about the other side of the world. Okay, can you uh, mention one? Food that famous in your country? Tomatoes. Tomato? There's a lot of European foods that has tomato with. Yeah. Spain. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Can you give me the, the first letter of your country? I no. <laughs> it's spoken in America. A part of English. Spanish. Oh. Spain. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you did Thank great. You. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm doing very well. Oh. Mm. This is definitely one of the common ones. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Talk to you guys more. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Felicia. If you want, I can pronounce it with like my uh, language. Mm -hmm. Like it's Felicia. So you originally born? Oh uh, yeah, but I died. Uh -huh. But original hair is also blonde, but it's like blonde. That could be a hint, but <laughs> could be. Can I say? Uh, really famous for food in general. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, like cheese. Okay, it's famous for cheese. Uh -huh. But the fact is that a lot of European countries is famous for cheese as well. So it's a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Is your country east, north? Or west or yeah, central. Know, yeah. Is it cold? How's the weather like? There's nothing specific about weather, I think uh -huh. so. It's really, really famous country in Europe, like a uh, really touristic one. I think the uh -huh. most touristic. What language 
do you speak in your country? Oh, you will guess immediately. <laughs> like it's like the name of the country is. <laughs> Are you? Is your people very famous like for the fashion? And you guys eat slow and <laughs> you're French. Yeah, I'm French. <laughs> France. France. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're from France? Yeah. Okay. So easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Bye bye. See you later. Hello. Hello. Hi. You look so bright today. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sophia. Sophia. I hear a lot of Sophia in movie. Oh. You are from the the UK part. No. Is that no? Mm -hmm. Is it common like in your country that people speak so many languages? Yes. At least two or three. What kind of uh, nature is famous in your country? Yeah, I would say that forest is was famous. Okay, in terms of a society, mm -hmm. what is your people known for? I would say their looks. First guess. <laughs> Are you in Germany? I'm not from Germany. Okay. Is it a country that everyone knows? I would say so. Okay. How many colors does your flag have? Two. Two. Are you famous for chocolate? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I also think my country is famous in the music industry. Music? I was thinking Austria, but I guess Austria already. <laughs> Am I close? No. No. So I was closer to Germany. Yeah. Geographically, as close as well? Yeah. You say people from my country, if you looked at me, you wouldn't guess that I'm from this country. Because mm -hmm. they would probably not look like me. This is hard. <laughs> Can you uh, mention what food in your country that? Meat and potatoes. Meat and potato? Sweden? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to say meat <laughs> Would you mind telling me the first letter of your country? Sure. S. 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 Are you Swedish? Yes! <laughs> made of potato, I know it with brown and mashed potatoes. You've been to IKEA, I can tell. I went to IKEA a lot, oh my god. I love the meatball. Thank you. Thank you, nice meeting you. <laughs> Getting older. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. My name is Joshua. A very unique to pronounce Joshua. A lot of tea in your country? Some people do, some people don't. Why not you introduce yourself in your language? In my language? Wie ich da letztes Mal die Videos äh, ausgeschickt habe, in ganz journalistischer Feinarbeit, die, die, die Titel, die haben mich so überrascht. Die Amerikaner geschockt, gefolgt von etwas sehr Trivialem. Is it French? <laughs> I don't think it's French. I mean, are you close? It's a very different language family, you know? Yeah. But are you close geographically or do you mean? I don't know. It's like the way that you speak in your language is very poetic. Poetic? Yes. <laughs> That's actually very lovely to hear that. We do have a lot of poets in my country. Oh. A lot of very famous ones, you know. Do you think your appearance represents like your people well? I'm a European. We are very individualistic people. You know, how we dress doesn't necessarily represent our country. Mm -hmm. Like people in my country, they all dress differently. And What kind of food that you enjoy from the country? We eat a lot of meat. We are probably not that well known for our cuisine. Like I don't think people go to another country and they're like, oh my gosh, it's a restaurant from, I should go there, yes. <laughs> Is your country also common in using English? Well, we learn it as a second language, but that doesn't mean we are particularly good at speaking it. Like I would say, not really. Germany. Germany? How, do you, how did you get there? Your pronunciation just sounds like... Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm German. Oh. oh! That was very straightforward. Got it. <laughs> nice. Perfect. <Thank> you. <laughs> Maybe one more hint. You asked about my favorite food. Mm -hmm. Let me add one more item there. Maybe that helps just a little. Potatoes. Potatoes? We do eat a lot of potatoes. What's that country called that's famous for potatoes? Are you German? I am German, yes. <laughs> okay! I mean, oh, his pronunciation is really looks like... Germany, because I also have a lot of friends from Germany. Well, yeah, we're from the same country, so <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. I am Aurora. And you're tall. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I wonder, like, in your country, is, like, are people famous for being tall? Yeah, quite a few tall people. Yeah. Quite a few. It's kind of normal that. Yeah, I would say, but they're also shorter people. I mean, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you speak German as well, just now? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. 
So it's common in your country to speak? Well, I wouldn't say it's common, but some people can speak German. Is there a country in the south part of the Europe? The south part? No. Maybe north part? Yeah. Is there any food that is famous in your country? Yeah, we have quite a few. <laughs> but if I name them... <laughs> it's going to be obvious. In many European countries, we do eat a lot of potatoes. Potato again? <laughs> Sometimes fries. Fries. Or, uh, I don't know, like old type of... Mm -hmm. And is there any product that your country is famous for? For example, chocolate. Chocolate? Belgium? Yeah! <laughs> I was about to say Ghana, you know, because there's Ghana chocolate here, but then Ghana Oh chocolate. no, don't say <laughs> that to me! Okay, I think I got the mean team here. <laughs> Belgium? Yeah. <laughs> that was so easy! <laughs> because of the chocolate! I mean, chocolate! I mean, if I say french fries, chocolate, or yeah, beer, I waffles, yeah, you yes, get me! That. I saw that you guys eat french fries with mayonnaise, and it's kind of... It's common, but we have so many sauces. Like, it's in insane. I'm glad I got it right. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't go through this without any of research. And I think like if I go to like, uh, if I visit Europe, it would be more helpful. But I remember what I learned today. And then when I go to Europe, I think it will help me better, you know, to understand what the culture is and how the people like there. It's tough. <laughs> So comparing to like guessing Asian countries and European countries, I think it's because like first geographically, Asian are far from European countries. We don't know a lot of minor culture, like the language. Because another thing is, in European countries, people speak a lot of different languages. So it's very hard to know from the languages they, they, that they speak. And then they eat similar things as well, like cheese, you know, like those kind of things. And their nature is superb. So it's really hard to pinpoint where they are from. So that's my challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun because I like geography. But it's still hard for me to, you know, to get familiar with all the countries in Europe, especially because of the flags I look very similar within each other. But then I do also have a lot of friends from Europe. So yeah, it was nice to meet you guys all. And then I'm probably going to learn about Europe in the future. <laughs> their accent, because I think Europe don't really have the accent. Like if you compare to the, the country from the Asia, like my country and then maybe the Philippines or the, in the Vietnam, they always have a different accent within the country. So it's very easy to differentiate. But then the Europe, I don't think I can differentiate from their accent. So yeah, I think that was the hardest part. Today I've guessed uh, Europeans' nationalities. And if you like this video, remember to like, share, and comment below. See you next time. Bye-bye.